Hello. <laughs> this is your telephone dropping Dr. Paul Lieber. Uh, speaking to you from Regenex Pittsburgh, uh, your uh, place of orthopedic uh, uh, interventional orthopedics and regenerative medicine uh, specialties. So I'm here to talk to you for about a half an hour or so. Um, and uh, a little bit about me. I'm a physical medicine rehab doctor. I've been practicing for um, 30 years. And uh, we started doing regenerative treatment back in um, 2012. Uh, and uh, we've done a lot of uh, treatment ever since, about 2,000 stem cells and about 6,000 PRP treatments. Um, hold on one second. Uh, I need to know how to advance the slide. I'll be right back with you. Click what? Just click it. Is it not working? Click this? Yeah. There you go. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, I haven't done uh, one of these for a little bit. Um, so first, I, you know, in these times of COVID-19, um, we're having a lot of technical difficulties. Um, and uh, I need to get back on the screen. Uh, so hold on one, one minute. I apologize for the glitches and I will be right there. I am no longer on the screen. Because you clicked. I don't think so. This is the screen, right? It says Kim Punjab and there's nobody there. You're, you're on the screen, on. I promise okay, you, great. okay? <laughs> I can see you. I'm watching. Fantastic. Okay, here we go. Um, COVID-19, very important. Things are changing um, uh, in, in most states now. They're seeing some increase. Um, however, we have done an excellent job of uh, uh, preparing for uh, patients. We have uh, virtual waiting rooms out in your car. Uh, we call you in. Um, Patients and providers uh, frequently hand wash. Uh, we clean all rooms uh, uh, after every patient with special uh, san sanitation uh, cleanser. Um, everybody is wearing uh, masks. The staff typically wear N95s. Um, and uh, we maintain social distancing. So these are some of the things that we do to keep you safe uh, so that uh, thus far, none of the patients or staff have gotten COVID-19. I think that's critical. There are three physicians. Uh, we're all doctors of physical medicine rehabilitation. Uh, myself, uh, Dr. Adelsheimer, um, and Dr. Sally, uh, and we are in Pittsburgh, Monroeville, Bridgeville, uh, Washington, and Sewickley. Uh, the main location in Pittsburgh is where we do most of our uh, interventional treatment. Uh, Dr. Sally uh, does some uh, in Bridgeville and Washington, uh, but it's not uh, stem cell or PRP treatment. That's all done here in Pittsburgh. So while you're here, uh, I think you're on this webinar because you're having pain in one of your musculoskeletal areas. You don't want the downtime or inconvenience of surgery. Uh, some of you may not be surgical candidates. You're looking for other options. You're not desirous to stay on medications. Um, you've been told that you have to live with it. You don't want to uh, let, learn to live with it. Um, and a lot of you are not ready to slow down. You want more from life. You want to be uh, whatever your game is, whatever your enjoyment is, you want to be able to maintain that. 
So tonight I'm gonna to talk about what is Regenex, uh, the current options in treatment, what's interventional orthopedics, the Regenex difference, and who this is for and the results. I think it's important to realize the future is biologic and the future in some part is here now. Uh, not only are we using stem cell and PRP to treat musculoskeletal conditions, but there are um, many different specialties within medicine, cardiology, ophthalmology, um, various uh, plastic surgery, um, and, and many, many more areas of specialty that are exploring uh, treatment with stem cells and platelet-rich plasma. So it's, it's all happening now. It's going to uh, replace some of the surgery that's done, uh, though it won't replace all surgery. So from a background standpoint, uh, when you have an injury or uh, in your tissues, whether that be your joints, your ligaments, your tendons, uh, what happens is that your body puts out chemical signals that attracts uh, stem cells into the area to repair uh, the tissue. Uh, the stem cells migrate into the area. They then multiply and, and uh, on that injury, and then they differentiate so that if you put an undifferentiated stem cell onto cartilage, it becomes a uh, cartilage cell or a tendon, it becomes tenocyte, um, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So bone, ligament, tendon, and cartilage is what the stem cells that we use can uh, turn into. And this is the natural healing process. So you first have an injury, uh, you then form a clot with platelets. Uh, there's some uh, uh, webbing, the platelets adhere. They put out signals uh, to attract stem cells. Nature heals by inflammation. Uh, and so there's an inflammatory response. The tissue begins to regenerate. Uh, then it remodels, and then you have complete healing. And complete, complete healing in this regard takes several months. The regenerative treatments are stem cells, platelet-rich plasma, platelet lysate, and prolotherapy. And we call, we at Regenex call our PRP super-concentrated platelets, and we'll talk about that. Platelets are found in blood. They're uh, very small. They contain healing growth factors. They help tissue, uh, they help speed up the repair. They also contain a neurotransmitter serotonin that quiets things down so that uh, during the process of repair, uh, it does not hurt as much. They attract stem cells into the region and activate them. So stem cells and platelets work together. And there are two types of, of platelet. Uh, platelets. Uh, one is platelet-rich plasma, which is good for tendons, joints, ligaments, cartilage. And basically what we do is we concentrate the super concentrated platelets based on the needs of the person. So for instance, a 20-some year old uh, patient who has a tendon uh, problem would need relatively low concentrated platelets, whereas an older person who has a, uh, a joint problem with osteoarthritis would need high concentrated platelets. And the growth factors here are released slowly. And then the other thing is platelet lysing. These are platelets that are, have uh, been frozen, ruptured, filtered, and they provide pure immediate release growth factor. And this is really good for nerves um, both peripheral nerves and for epidural injections. And it really works a whole lot better than a corticosteroid epidural. So at Regenex Pittsburgh, what we're discussing is adult stem cells. We're not talking about controversial embryonic stem cells. These are autologous, meaning this is coming from you. Uh, these are MSCs or mesenchymal stem cells. They are derived from bone marrow. Uh, they're adipose-derived and um, bone marrow-derived. And in the processing that we do, uh, your bone marrow has both, and we use both. 
the adult stem cells are undifferentiated undifferentiated cells that are held into reserve until repair or replacement is needed. In other words, they're around in the tissue, um, but they just don't go to the injured area uh, until your body signals that it's ready for those uh, stem cells. They can turn into many different types as we've talked about. They can orchestrate a repair response and they renew themselves, and they also provide a new blood supply. So this is the new biologic tool available to treat musculoskeletal injury and degeneration. Um, they grow new tissue, they repair damaged tissue, they speed up the healing process. Um, and the way that we process this, we can get highly concentrated uh, stem cells that are um, that have uh, a large degree of live cells um, because we know how to do this. So let, we'll talk a little bit about Regenex now and we'll talk about it uh, a little later in the presentation. Regenex is a group of uh, doctors and it's a process. Um, we are physicians around the world. Um, there are 65 outfits in uh, the United States, uh, and we all have been trained to do this treatment the same way. Um, and <clears throat> we are an alternative to orthopedic surgery. We use an interventional orthopedics. We use orthobiologic, which basically is a fancy way of saying your stem cells and your PRPs. Uh, at this juncture, we are the most advanced regenerative medicine treatment out there and we are a trusted alternative to orthopedic surgery. And in order to understand the Regenex difference, and we'll talk again about this as we go on, um, you wanna understand that um, we, we look at the quality and potency of, of the product, whether it be your PRP or stem cells. Um, so for instance, in stem cells, uh, some folks have been trained to take uh, uh, one, one bone marrow draw, but we know that we get many, many times uh, the number of stem cells if we take 10 ml or two teaspoons of bone marrow per site. So we use more sites, but we get many, many more cells as a result. Uh, we also know that by uh, having a laboratory as opposed to a bedside centrifuge, uh, we can concentrate these cells uh, better and get more live cells. Um, and finally, we follow every patient's outcome. Uh, you're special uh, and we need to make sure that the outcome that you have is put into uh, the group of people that have had your treatment so we can look objectively at the successes of the treatment. So at this time, 80% of what we do is platelet-rich plasma or super concentrated platelets, and 20% is stem cell plus a platelet-rich plasma. So the vast majority of people are getting platelet-rich plasma, uh, there's a significant cost difference and not everyone needs stem cells. And what we're trying to do, particularly in a knee treatment, which I'm gonna talk to you about uh, tonight, um, we're trying to change the balance within the environment of your uh, joint uh, from one of uh, breaking down, uh, which is catabolism, to one of rebuilding, which is anabolism. And so, we change that environment uh, by using your cells uh, to continue to heal and improve that uh, microenvironment within your joint. So what do we treat? Everything that's musculoskeletal. We treat arthritis, tendinosis, torn ligaments, meniscal tears, spine pain, disc issues, and nerve damage. And um, some of the nerve damage is in the periphery like carpal tunnel syndrome. And some of the nerve damage is spinal like uh, radicular pain, uh, which 
you would probably consider to be sciatica. And we also treat bone damage. So if, if uh, bones have not healed properly, uh, uh, we can go in and put uh, stem cells into the bone, brace it, and help it heal. The common areas for treatment are every musculoskeletal joint, whether it be shoulder, elbow, wrist, and hand, hip and pelvis, knee, ankle and foot and spine. And we even treat temporomandibular joints in the jaws because uh, they're another joint area. If you think of the current options in orthopedic care, uh, they're limited. They're what's paid for. So you can get over-the-counter uh, treatment. They can prescribe non steroidal anti-inflammatory medications, which interfere with the healing process, or you can get hooked on opioids and stay on them to dull your senses and dull the pain. Non-surgical treatments, steroid injections in the knee that uh, destroy your uh, chondrocytes so that you don't produce good cartilage anymore. Uh, viscoelastic supplement like Hyalgan or Suparts, which are glorified lubricants, uh, and there are many others, but nothing cures uh, or uh, regenerates the tissue uh, that we're talking about thus far. And finally, when all else fails in orthopedic care, you've got surgery, joint replacements, uh, removal of meniscus, uh, various repairs. And you know that cutting is a risky, um, a problem-laden uh, process uh, requiring a treatment in an ambulatory surgery center or hospital, uh, and that there are comorbidities such as infection um, and uh, blood clots. So we believe that we should let the body heal itself. We know that surgery won't be the dominant uh, form of care for these conditions in 21st century, and that, <coughs> for instance, 95% of the meniscal surgeries um, are unnecessary. You're removing a needed spacer, and when you do that, you hasten the demise of the joint, uh, speeding up the onset of arthritis. And so we believe that we should stop cutting things out and inject biologic agents that can help tissues grow and heal. As such, we represent a new specialty of interventional orthopedics. Um, again, uh, we use uh, fluoroscopy units and ultrasound units to have precise image-guided injections and needle-based procedures. Our belief is less invasive procedures uh, allow you to avoid it, uh, the unnecessary more invasive surgeries. And the way we see this, 50% um, of the doctors do these blind injections where uh, they are putting something into the joint, whether it be corticosteroid or platelet-rich plasma. Uh, then you have low accuracy guidance with either fluoroscopy or ultrasound, which uh, is not is specific to the joint. Um, but about 5% of doctors or less do precise guided procedures to tendons, ligaments, uh, joint capsules, joints, et cetera, to stabilize the joint and heal the tissue, um, understanding precisely where the problem is in the joint, where the biologics need to be uh, directed towards. Tonight, I'm going to talk more about the knee. The knee is the area that we see the most of. People are on their knees all the time, and over the course of their life, knees hurt. So the thing that we see most of is bone on bone. We know that these are the joints that have been uh, told uh, by the orthopedic surgeons that you need a joint replacement, and we see that there's a very favorable outcome. Um, we now are treating anterior cruciate ligament tears, and I should say posterior cruciate ligament tears as well, up to one centimeter se uh, separation with a very favorable outcome. And we treat meniscal tears uh, as long as they are not catching or locking, uh, uh, again, with a 90% improvement. And I've been the recipient of many of these treatments and they keep me going. 
great information about needs. There's no association between age and outcome. You can be 20 years old, you can be 99 years old, and your outcome will be likely the same. Um, there's no association between uh, weight and outcome. You can be uh, morbidly obese and have a good outcome. There's no association between the degree of arthritis and the outcome. Again, uh, severe osteoarthritis of the knee is our demographic. It's what we've learned to treat. Um, but if you have painful arthritis all over your body, uh, uh, it's typically associated with a less robust outcome. The knee outcome data is great. We have uh, 11,000 people in the data bank at Regenex. Uh, two out of three people report at least a 50% improvement at six months after the procedure. And the stem cells keep on working. And so after four years, 80 to 90% improvement is something that we see. Another great piece of information, the people who are told they need a joint replacement at two years, only 12.7% of them who have had the Regenix procedures go on and have a joint replacement. So this treatment works well. I'm gonna go back to one, one lady, uh, Pam. Uh, she's a 58 year old um, uh, aerobics instructor. She had four years of right knee pain, uh, grade four chondrosis, uh, meaning that the joint was bone on bone. Severe pain. She couldn't do her work any longer as an aerobics instructor. She got the stem cell treatment in November of 2013. And uh, three months later, she uh, returned to uh, full duty work, doing everything with an 85 to 90% improvement. And actually, she grows back some cartilage and is rated as grade three chondrosis um, uh, after three months. Uh, Julie is a, a lady, uh, and I talk about avascular necrosis, necrosis, but there are areas where people have bone that is dying called bone marrow lesions, uh, and they hurt. In, in Julie's case, she had uh, avascular necrosis, which is an area of dead bone. Uh, she couldn't walk without crutches. She couldn't do her yoga or uh, instruct. Uh, and um, she underwent a Regenix uh, treatment. Uh, and we went into her bone and placed the stem cells in there. And by September of 2015, uh, uh, the area of her bone uh, that was treated looks much better and she's pain free. The newer treatment has been uh, to treat the anterior and posterior cruciate ligaments, in this case, the anterior cruciate ligaments, both the anterior medial and posterior lateral bundles under x-ray. And this is what it looks like uh, as we're treating it. We use contrast. Um, and uh, it's important to get both bundles of the ACL um, and get good flow up and down, if at all possible. Uh, and uh, this is what that actually looks like. Uh, this uh, patient, uh, Dave, had, was a skier and a soccer player and tore his ACL um, and the wavy uh, area uh, of his, um, his uh, anterior cruciate ligament uh, uh, shows a tear in the middle. Uh, and then six months later, after we've treated it with stem cells, the picture on the right uh, looks homogenous and dark, which suggests uh, the ACL has repaired. The results are less pain, improved function, improved mood, getting off pain meds, and getting back to a preferred and active lifestyle. And this is what we hope for, and this is what uh, the outcomes are most on most occasions, regardless of whether we're treating the knee or we're treating other uh, body parts or spine. So let's talk a little bit about Regenix differences. First of all, experience. Why is it important? We've been, uh, Regenix has been doing this longer than any other uh, stem cell entity in the world. 
um, and uh, in the US that have been doing it uh, since 2005. And we at Regenex Pittsburgh have been doing it since 2012 and we're number six uh, affiliate with uh, Regenex in the United States. They now have 65 uh, such affiliates. So you're getting the expertise, the experience, the research data, the doctors, we're all stacking the deck in your favor. And it means the likelihood of getting a re good result uh, with all of this experience is much greater. The specialist, we are musculoskeletal physicians. Uh, we have been trained, our background is often in physical medicine and rehabilitation, sports medicine. Uh, there are some orthopedic surgeons. We use no fillers. We don't use nurse practitioners or physicians assistance, you get us, you get the doctor. Um, so what does that mean for you? You're getting an expert physician in uh, the field of interventional orthopedics. We don't dabble, we do this all the time, day in, day out. And what does that mean for you? The doctor that you see makes the right diagnosis. We know what's wrong with you and we as such provide the right treatment uh, and that's the key to your success. Clinical research, um, we do, we at Regenix do clinical research on a continuous basis. If you don't do research, you don't know what the outcomes are. If you don't do research, you don't know what changes that, that may occur in the lab uh, positively influence the treatment. Um, so we do research, we submit to peer reviewed journals. We have uh, many publications, approximately 40% of all stem cell publications in the world are Regenix publications. So uh, <clears throat> we, we let you know what the data shows and our treatment evolves uh, as we uh, make changes that have significant uh, potential for improvement. And we study it. Uh, we're looking for safe and effective treatment. And if uh, uh, we, we provide honest data-driven answers. Harvesting, we harvest from your posterior pelvis uh, and we harvest at multiple sites as opposed to one site. And we get the most living viable cells as a result. Uh, we get this only from your bone marrow. You cannot reject you. You can't get infected by you. So we get the highest dose of cells possible, uh, best technique. And this treatment is painless. Uh, you don't hurt when we harvest your bone marrow. We know how to do it. Um, and we're getting the most uh, nucleated cells from your body, again, giving you the greatest opportunity for success, the cell source. This is so important. We have the only FDA compliant uh, treatment when we use autologous bone marrow, the rest or not. So uh, we properly dose it. You're getting live bone marrow derived cells, uh, most research, peace of mind, uh, getting the best results. Safety, our safety is impeccable. We have a safety paper of about 2,500 uh, patients. Uh, the most common uh, issue was pain at the injection site. Uh, nobody's had an infection uh, in Pittsburgh, and I believe that's the case uh, throughout the Regenex network. This is very, very safe. Finally, uh, it's important to know that we use what's called the SANS uh, treatment principle. We're looking at structure, articulation, uh, neuromuscular symmetry. So we are looking up and down the uh, chain uh, from your ankle to your shoulder, uh, looking for why uh, there are asymmetries, why your knee hurts, uh, do you have a, a nerve problem, do you have an ankle problem, uh, and trying to not just be uh, somebody who treats one joint and calls it a day, uh, but trying to understand exactly why you hurt and trying to correct those issues uh, in addition to injecting your painful body part. I think trust is a critically important thing to, to be able to trust your physician. I know so many times when I'm treating patients, 
They say, Doc, I trust you. And that means a tremendous amount to me. So uh, who can you trust? There are a lot of people out there that are doing these treatments. Uh, um, uh, there are some chiropractors. There are some doctors who don't use uh, bone marrow derived cells. Um, and so uh, there are independent laboratories that look at these things. Uh, so for instance, amniotic, placental, cord blood, Morton's jelly, all commercial available products out there do not grow cells. There are no living cells in these entities. This is compared to middle-aged bone marrow where these are cell colonies that have grown on uh, an auger plate. So very important. Uh, um, and, and this is uh, something that's said all the time. Uh, they tell me that my cells are too old. Well, it's horse pucky. Um, it's not true. Uh, we treat people that are uh, almost 100 years of age. Um, and stem cells are viable. You just don't have as many of them, but we certainly have enough cells uh, to treat one joint, sometimes, um, uh, uh, sometimes a uh, little more than that. Um, and remember that their cells contain uh, dead products. So watch out, discounting your heavy emphasis on financing, uh, magic cure-all. We don't cure at all. We cure many people that we treat. Everyone is not a candidate. There are people that are poor candidates and we turn them away. And we turn them away time and time and time again. Uh, remember that you're calling amniotic cord blood, placental, and wort jelly, which are tissues, calling it a stem cell is fraud. And adipose-derived stem cells are outright illegal, according to the FDA. So what do you expect from your stem cell treatment? The first part of the treatment is prolotherapy, uh, where we are um, uh, treating uh, the injured ligaments and or uh, joint by creating a controlled irritation. The stem cells adhere better. Uh, this is tilling the soil. Second part, platelets and stem cells. A uh, second appointment, we uh, get your bone marrow, spin it down in our laboratory uh, and uh, get your stem cells and platelets and implant them. And the third appointment is uh, fertilizing those stem cell seeds. Uh, stem cells need PRP or super concentrated platelets to grow. And so uh, we do this and we do everything we do with precise image guidance, whether it be um, uh, stem cells, PRP or extracting bone marrow. And so uh, when we see somebody for a platelet-rich plasma, super concentrated platelet uh, evaluation, we spend an hour with you reviewing your diagnostic studies, your medical history, uh, clinically examining you, and if need be, uh, breaking out the ultrasound and examining uh, that injured painful body part. We then draw your blood and inject um, on the same day, though that is not typically during the consult that we uh, have you undergo. And we will pro provide a prescription for physical therapy. We then follow you at one month, three months, six months, and one year. With stem cells, same evaluation initially. Again, day one, prolotherapy, we till the soil. Day two, we plant the seeds. Uh, the stem cell PRP uh, treatment, and day three, we fertilize with more stem cells. Uh, we provide physical therapy. We see you back, same frequency, uh, usually a month of physical therapy and sometimes more to get range of motion back and also um, to strengthen in an inappropriate way uh, and that uh, injured uh, uh, arthritic joint uh, and um, look at other areas that may be affecting you. So post-care physical therapy, typically about 60% less than surgery. There are various methods. Uh, Pete Agoscu, which is not big here, but is big out west, um, uh, reintegrating uh, your entirety of your 
uh, musculoskeletal system. Uh, sometimes it's uh, do it yourself. We can provide uh, guidance for that and or returning you to the ret referring provider who wants to prescribe a treatment uh, therapy for you. Insurance. What we, what we are aspiring to is uh, self-funded employers. We have 10 million plus covered lives. Um, check with your employer to see if uh, they are in fact a Regenix self-funded employer. Uh, uh, people who um, are employees of those self-funded employers that are covered by Regenix often get their treatment for free. Uh, the rest of the insurance will follow suit. Uh, my suspicion is when we have 30 to 40 million covered lives, that's when uh, things will um, be more likely to get regular insurance covered. But for now, that's not happening. So here's how uh, things stack up on cost. If you're getting individual prolotherapy, which can be a standalone treatment, uh, it's $300 to $650 typically per treatment. If you're getting uh, super concentrated platelets, depending upon where and how much we do, uh, $1,500 to $2,500. If you're getting uh, platelet-based uh, spine treatment, somewhere between uh, $1,200 to uh, $6,500. And uh, stem cell treatment, whether it be intradiscal or uh, specific to a joint, typically uh, $7,500 to $9,500. And I know that's a whopping lot of money, but you know, you're getting expertise, the best possible treatment out there, and you're going to have the best possible outcome. So who's this treatment for? It's for most people who want to avoid surgery, keeping all their body parts they don't have time for downtime or lengthy rehab. They want to get off their medicine. They failed surgery uh, previously and uh, they don't want to go through more surgery. They've had a bad outcome with one knee uh, and they want to do regenerative treatment uh, on the other knee. Uh, they have medical contraindications uh, for surgery or they're too young for surgery. Um, basically, we're trying to get you back doing the things that you love. So insurance uh, covers consultations, follow-ups, diagnostic studies, bracing and therapy. Insurance doesn't cover the regenerative treatments <coughs> at this time. And sometimes with co-pays and deductibles, you're actually going to pay more uh, for traditional orthopedic surgery than regenerative treatment. We're going to customize a treatment plan for you and therefore, uh, one size does not fit all. Again, we have five uh, locations. The Pittsburgh location is our main location. Uh, so Wickley, Monroeville, Bridgeville, and Washington, PA. Now, uh, as uh, promised, uh, we have uh, several, uh, uh, we have an advanced uh, nutritional supplement bundle uh, that we want uh, to give to you uh, if you come and schedule a new patient evaluation. Uh, we will give you highly concentrated fish oil, which is strongly anti-inflammatory and good not only for your joints, but for your heart, uh, lowers your cholesterol, et cetera. Turmeric curcumin is a strong, another strong anti-inflammatory that can substitute for the non-steroidal such as ibuprofen, Aleve, and Advil, um, and um, uh, doesn't interfere with the healing process. And finally, the advanced stem cell support formula. Uh, this contains glucosamine, chondroitin, uh, bioperine, a bitter melon, L-carnosine, uh, vitamin D, vitamin C, turmeric, and resveratrol. Uh, I use these supplements on a daily basis and have for the last four or five years. And when I don't take these supplements, uh, my joints bother me. The advanced stem cell formula, in addition, uh, we believe increases the number of stem cells that we get out of bone marrow. And um, we... Uh, fosters and improves the uh, stem cell growth uh, for six months following uh, the implantation of uh, stem cells into the uh, 
injured or re uh, degenerated uh, body part. So if you schedule with Sarah Ferlin and you come in for a consultation, which your insurance company will likely pay for um, uh, at the new patient evaluation, uh, we will give you those three supplements. Uh, and interestingly, there have been a few occasions where people have felt so good with the supplements that they have decided not to go through with the uh, stem cell treatment. The bad news is that you'll want to continue to get the supplements uh, in order to feel good, but uh, the regenerative treatments will uh, correct your problems. So feel free to schedule a new patient exam. Uh, I am now going to open it up to questions. Uh, I see that we have a lot of uh, uh, people participating. Um, so uh, let's see uh, how I get to you. Uh, Uh, let's see how I get to uh, the questions here. So here's the first question. Uh, can stem cells be used instead of uh, hip replacement surgery? So the answer is um, that in some cases, the stem cell treatment can be used um, for instead of hip replacement surgery. But generally, uh, the most effectiveness is when people don't have a inability to move their hip. Uh, so their hip moves freely and they don't have severe end-stage arthritis. Even if they do have end-stage arthritis, if they can move their hip well, uh, then uh, one can avoid uh, hip replacement uh, surgery. Uh, Ken asks, have there been any results of the data released yet? What joints does this work best on and worst on? So the answer is you can go on to the Regenix website and uh, uh, they will answer, uh, they will give you answers uh, to this uh, uh, on a joint by joint basis. Uh, but the basic answer is that we think that knees uh, work the best and hips work the least best. So now I'm going to answer Tom's question. Uh, Tom asked the question, um, does he need an MRI before I come in uh, or uh, some other scan or x-ray? Well, the answer is that if it's your hip, your knee, your shoulder, uh, your ankle, uh, your hand, your wrist, etc., cetera, um, you don't have to have an MRI, but MRIs can be beneficial. Uh, they can tell us whether there are bone marrow lesions. Uh, they can tell us whether uh, you have um, tears in your labrum in the cup that holds the joint. Uh, so they're helpful, uh, but uh, uh, usually unnecessary. Um, in the case of spine, we do need MRIs because uh, uh, they let us know uh, areas that are safe to inject and areas that may not be safe to inject. So if you have an MRI, it's helpful. Otherwise, I would say come in and uh, we can prescribe uh, depending upon what you need. Um, so ho hopefully that's helpful. I'm gonna answer Marilyn, uh, Marilyn's question. Um, she ha had had uh, four injections of PRP and still has a spot uh, that she has pain in. Um, so hopefully we haven't given you four injections of PRP. Usually that's a one for or a two for uh, to get you better. Um, and so the answer is 
sometimes you need more than PRP. Uh, maybe this is something that requires a stem cell uh, treatment, or maybe you need a new diagnostic study or an or a ultrasound to try to figure out why it hasn't worked as well. So, um, typical, uh, typical uh, recovery time for a knee procedure. Um, so the gold, uh, the typical recovery time is, is about three months. That's when we can cut you loose to do all the activities that you want to, uh, want to be doing, whether it be uh, uh, running or uh, other activities. Most, most uh, golfers, um, people who want to garden uh, or walk, are doing that within uh, a month uh, time frame. Um, the recovery that we see uh, sort of as the gold standard is six months. Uh, that's when the majority of regeneration has occurred. Uh, and um, I, because the stem cells continue to survive, we go, uh, uh, you go on to get better and better and better uh, as time goes on. So uh, this isn't uh, something that um, is a short-term treatment. Uh, the uh, treatment often lasts for many years and should last for many years. And some of the folks that we've done in uh, 2013, for instance, are still doing well. Sometimes a, a booster PRP treatment may be uh, necessary. So, any other questions? So, at this point, I wanted to thank you for attending. Yeah. Just gotta scroll down a little bit. Five more questions. Okay, show me where. Yep, no problem. So you just gotta scroll down here. Oh, okay. That's Sorry. All. No, great. you're fine right here. Okay. And just scroll, good. keep scrolling because people are keeping safe. Okay, great. Um, Maddie asks um, Can this be used for cervical spine degeneration? Uh, or following a cervical spine if I still have uh, quite a bit of pain? So um, the answer is absolutely yes. So we treat the uh, area that's not uh, had a surgical fusion. We can treat above and below. We can even treat the fascia, which is the webbing that contains, that keeps your muscles in place at the level of the cervical fusion. Uh, but we can treat the, the ligaments uh, we can treat the muscles, we can treat the fascia, and we can treat the nerves, uh, particularly above and below. And so, yes, this is a good treatment, even if you have had a, uh, even if you had have, have had a fusion. So, uh, another question: Why is the hip so difficult to treat, especially if it's bone on bone? Can you opt for PRP versus stem cells for hip osteoarthritis? So the answer is yes, you can opt for PRP. Don't forget PRP attracts stem cells into the area. Um, stem cells are typically a better treatment for moderate to severe osteoarthritis. Uh, we are now putting stem cells into the bone in addition to into the joint uh, to help uh, for bone on bone arthritis. Uh, and that seems to hold the most promise for regeneration. So uh, next question. If you have a problem at L5S1 joint, is that the only joint that you treat? Or do you treat L4-5 to provide additional support? So the answer is that we treat the ligaments above to provide and below to treat to provide additional support, but we don't go into um, the uh, we don't go into the facet joints at the level above uh, if they're doing well. We think that that's uh, an area that we should leave alone. Uh, so the L5S1 facet joints and associated nerves uh, would be treated, but the ligaments above and below would be treated. 
So um, uh, Maddie uh, raises another question, um, treating frozen shoulder. So um, <clears throat> when we look at frozen shoulder, what we do is we do a, a regenerative capsular expansion. We put a high volume of uh, platelet lysate along with some anesthetic called ropivacaine uh, and uh, nanograms, one millionth the dose of hydrocortisone into the joint. And we put as much as the joint will take to make that joint float. Uh, I then mobilize the joint on the table after we've treated the frozen shoulder. And then we send you off for aggressive therapy uh, for that frozen shoulder. Uh, we then look at the outcome in one month to see how you're doing. You may then be a PRP candidate, you may then be a stem cell candidate, or we may need to capsular, uh, do another capsular expansion on you. Uh, but we like to use platelet lysate. We find it to be very helpful in uh, treating frozen shoulder. I'm looking through these questions. Okay. Um, Ken asks, um, are there benefits to stem cells in areas that are surgically repaired uh, after rotator cuff surgery with the stem cell uh, help with flexibility and strength? Uh, absolutely. Um, you can do it uh, the only time we don't put stem cells into an area is when you have a joint replacement, but we have other treatments for painful joint replacements as well. Um, but after a rotator cuff surgery, not only does it help um, uh, with the uh, uh, flexibility and strength, but it helps the integrity of the rotator cuff repair. Uh, there is a 33% re-tear rate within the first several months, and this lowers it, uh, the rate of re-tear considerably. So it can be very helpful. Jake asks, uh, you can't rebuild discs in the spine. Uh, so, um, your procedure strengthens ligaments and muscles. Uh, so what's the difference between PT and the treatment that we offer? So first, yes, we can rebuild discs in the spine. Uh, we don't opt to do so as a first line treatment, but if you have sufficient disc space and the right type of uh, injury to your discs, we can go into the disc with stem cells and PRP and facilitate uh, some healing uh, and actually some expansion of the disc uh, to rebuild the disc. Um, as far as uh, <clears throat> what we do, uh, we, are, we are creating an internal uh, brace uh, with our treatment. We are rebuilding the ligaments, improving the facet joints, um, and uh, we are helping some of the muscles uh, come back online so that PT will actually work better uh, following the treatment. So we're internally stabilizing uh, the spinal segment with our treatments, and we're also helping the nerves uh, regenerate with platelet lysate. So it's a comprehensive uh, treatment of the spine uh, and it works very well in conjunction with physical therapy, but we're uh, doing more than uh, building re the muscles. Now, having said that, certainly you should try uh, physical therapy before you go ahead and uh, have a comprehensive uh, platelet-rich plasma treatment of your lumbar spine. Um, core stabilization exercises are critical, and they should certainly be done first before uh, any regenerative treatment uh, needs to be tried. Uh, so uh, Vicki asks, um, have you, if you have two spinal joint issues, would you treat both? If you're talking about cervical and lumbar, 
uh, we would not. We would treat one and then we would go after the other. We would first want you to be satisfied with uh, the treatment that you've uh, received in the lumbar spine area or cervical spine area before you would go on uh, to have treatment in the other area. If you're talking about little joints in the spine, such as facet joints, uh, we can treat many of those at once. James asks, is, the peer, is there a period of time after stem cell treatment that PRP is um, uh, most effective? So the answer is, uh, we think that it's effective um, anywhere after three months. We think before three months, it's too early to know whether your stem cells have sufficiently regenerated to do a PRP treatment. I, I've been a recipient of uh, stem cell treatment to my knee uh, um, 18 months ago. I had two PRP boosters, uh, which boosted the effectiveness from about 75% effective to somewhere around 98% effective. So uh, uh, that's what we think. And you know, you can go on to have um, PRP booster treatment um, in, in a joint, for instance, your stem cells remain alive for years and years and years. So to boost the function of your uh, stem cells is a very reasonable thing to do. And there are some of my patients who come back on a yearly basis and say, uh, I want a PRP booster and I have no problem with doing that. So can you treat atrophied muscles? Um, if, if the muscles are spinal muscles and they are atrophied, um, uh, then we do treat them uh, and we treat them with platelet poor plasma and they seem to come back online. If the muscle is atrophied, then we have to figure out why the muscle is atrophied. So if it's a quadriceps muscle, um, is it due to immobility of your knee or immobility of your hip? Or is it a nerve issue from pinched nerve from your spine? So the answer is probably we can treat an atrophy muscle. We just have to figure out what the cause is. So any other questions, I'll be glad to answer. Um, I don't see any more right now. Anyhow, I want to thank you for attending. Uh, I hope that you understand that we are the most comprehensive um, FDA compliant treatment out there. We at Regenix Pittsburgh have treated uh, around 2,000 stem cell treatments and around uh, 6,000 platelet rich plasma treatments. This treatment continues to be researched. It continues to be to evolve uh, and become better and better and better all the time. Um, so uh, we are uh, the most advanced uh, of the stem cell PRP treatments out there. I hope that what I've said uh, is uh, something that inspires you uh, to get back into the active lifestyle that you would like to um, uh, return to. Uh, don't forget, uh, if you come in for a new patient evaluation, uh, we are giving you uh, that um, uh, advanced regenerative uh, supplement uh, treatment packet. So uh, it's about $175 value. We would love to see you. And I really appreciate your being uh, on this uh, webinar tonight. Thank you again and have, have a great night.